Leaving Hong Kong? Yes. You're sick, Joe. I am sick. At the Hong Kong airport, last day here. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Going to Taipei. Looking for the Hong Kong airline terminal. What's up, Joe? Juice. Check out the view of the uh, business class lounge. You can totally, you can totally get drunk here. There's like uh, whiskey. As I mentioned, I got the upgrade for free because I'm so good looking. Hey guys, lovely hair. Got to the airport super early. Got to. Therefore, four hours before our departure time. Um, on Google Maps, the bus said it'll take an hour and a half, but it actually took 50 minutes. And also, I left the house early so that I didn't want to miss the bus. The end result, four hours early. But it's actually pretty good because I didn't know this, but we went to, uh, we got business class somehow. I have no idea how that happened. So, we're in the business lounge. They have a buffet, free food, free drinks. If I was an alcoholic, I'd probably drink some whiskey right now, but I'm not, and Joe's sick, so she's not drinking, which is surprising. Uh, still a little bit sick. Going to Taipei. Going to Taipei, this is catching the shuttle bus. Tons Please of people waiting. Seat. That's the regular the line. Member, How does it feel to be such a high roller, Joe? I don't think I can ever fly economy again, but I will say. It's all about the bling bling. Elderly passengers, passengers traveling with. Hong Kong Airlines. Economy class ever. Look at how much room you get. Look, there's a place for your. This is what I needed. There's a place for your feet. Here. Yeah. This, this is, is what short... I needed when we flew here from uh, Vancouver to Hong Kong. It's a short flight though. Man, how did this happen, eh? I don't know, but this is pretty amazing, guys. I must admit. So, guys, make sure you flirt with the. Um, Pretty serious there, and they might upgrade you, but it might be hard because you're not as good looking as me. So, yes, it's pretty tough. Yeah, so we're off to Taipei. Yes, very excited. How was Hong Kong? I like it. It was too hot for me. I like it. I think it was a cool city. Just too too hot. I was like sweating like mad core, and Taipei is gonna be just as hot too. I'm not excited about that. Although I'm gonna do my best to have fun as I always do, and. Uh, Make awesome video content for you guys, and we'll see you in Taipei. Gotta take a little nap. It's like pimp. Taipei main city. It costs about equivalent of $5. It sounds pretty cheap. 
Sounds reasonable. Uh, we're just lying in line for a bus. I hope we get on. I think we can. And then uh, we'll see how Taipei is. It's kind of cool right now, so I'm enjoying it already. 24 degrees. All right, guys. All right, guys, so this is our home for the next four nights. Our first Airbnb experience. Yeah, in Taipei. So as soon as we approach the front door, we have a couch here and then a mini fridge with some water that our wonderful host probably left for us. And then we have the TV here and there is a, uh, a dresser that she had left uh, magazines, I guess, for her guests to read. Then also a hot water... Um, for me for my tea in the morning then we go down the hallway we have our suitcase spread out we have this would be a a, a king a queen size bed with lots of closet space which i doubt i'm gonna use and uh, a lot of drawers and then it's like divided into this is this is the towel and blow dryer and the washroom is right here and it's a stand up shower Reminds me of the Vietnam days and the toilet. So this is a room for the next four days. Taipei, we stay. We're staying near um, the Simending uh, bus area. It's kind of like the Times Square of Taipei. This is where the Times Times Square of Hong Kong yesterday. We'll go to the. Times Square of Taipei today. We also got our first bubble tea experience and they're so different. They're like the pearls are really small. Like not even a quarter size of the ones in Canada but it's so tasty. I just got the regular milk tea with um, less sugar and less ice. Yummy. Right, let's continue on. Ooh, I think we're coming to that main square that we always see in everyone's uh, vlogs. Vlogs, right, babe? I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a shot. Hey, pepper lunch, babe. Well, I heard KFC is like high end here. I finally found that place that a uh, few friends recommended it's on every vlog too. It better be good, man. It better be good. It doesn't look good, but you gotta try it. Finally, get to try the Azong Mian Xian, which came recommended by many, many people. Even the native Vietnamese people, I'm sorry, Taiwanese people um, told us that we should try this. It's like a rice noodle with chicken. First taste. Ah. Seafood like. It reminds me of like a seafood soup. It's very good. Very what? Very good. Like it's worth the two minute lineup. It moves really fast. It's only 65 Taiwanese dollar, which is like less than three dollars. Not chicken. 
it is um, intest like um, intestine. The um, chung. Joe, looks like you did some damage. This is just the beginning. I have so much more to go. I'm gonna go here now. Strawberry, Paris strawberry. Yeah. Sounds like a food store. After spending hours upon hours here, <laughs> we're still here. It's about nine. I think it's about nine o'clock at night. And there's lots of nail stuff. I think they're all Vietnamese. Cinderella nail. That's crazy. 